Konami doesn't look like they're done with Metal Gear Solid 5 just yet, as the 1.17 update dropped earlier today. With that comes playable quiet in FOBs, new hard difficulty for FOB events, and the Dark Matter Generator item slash weapon. Quiet is a game changer in FOBs. If you thought the Raiden suit was too fast, you're not ready for Quiet. Aside from incredibly fast running, Quiet can also dash while running for even more speed. She can also climb over short walls faster and climb up ladders in seconds by just jumping straight up them. Just like in single player, she's amazing with sniper rifles. Quiet has very little scope sway and almost no recoil while using a sniper rifle. Quiet has also different animations as well. The traditional dive to the ground has been replaced by a ground slide, and CQC has been replaced by kicking. If all this wasn't enough, staying still as quiet for more than 5 seconds allows her to turn completely invisible, similar to stealth camo. Now similar to Ocelot, Quiet can't equip any camo, armor, or headgear. Instead her defensive value is the same as your highest level battle dress developed. Quiet is also... well... quiet. She can't interrogate guards, and she also can't perform chokeholds. Also, her CQC kicking seems incapable of waking sleeping or stunned guards up. So that's... yeah. That's a little annoying. The new hard mode FOB events are definitely a bit harder, but I don't think they're unfairly hard or even unbearably hard. The current one, New World Order, adds two more platforms if you're playing on hard mode, so you have the full four. More guards, which is obvious because you have more platforms. Guards that have plated face masks, so headshotting them is harder. Still possible, but harder. And the guards do seem to be a little bit more attentive, although that might just be me playing like garbage and the guards are just the same. It's hard to say at this point in time. The mission tasks are also increased, so whereas you might only need to Fulton 5 guards, you now have to Fulton 10 guards. But this is compensated by giving you a little bit more time to complete these mission tasks as well. You also earn a lot more event points per run, so if anything, that's the reason why you're going to want to be doing these. I think you earn well over two times the normal amount for what's basically just a tiny bit more work. So the Dark Matter Generator. I don't know how to feel about this thing. You essentially place it down like you would place any other placeable weapon like C4 or Claymores, but you need to activate it. When you do, this giant black hole appears and starts kind of marching forward in whatever direction you placed it in. Now, it does hit enemies and does do damage to them, but it won't kill them, it won't really knock them down, stun them, or put them to sleep, or anything useful like that. Uh, they will sort of radio it in and go, that was weird, there's an enemy attacking us, and all the normal stuff that you would expect, but that's it. I don't really know what this thing is supposed to do. There is mention in the description that it blocks light. I don't know if it's something that you're supposed to put down and like walk next to it, and it's going to keep you hidden. Because I noticed when I placed it down and I was basically right inside of the thing, it didn't do damage to me. So maybe that's the usage of it? I don't know, this is definitely going to require a lot of further testing. And later on in a future update, it looks like we're going to be getting an upgrade to the Arenov ICKX sniper rifle. We're going to be getting the Arenov ICKX BIS rifle, what that stands for, I'm not quite sure yet. But the description is that it's going to be a sniper rifle that fires a round that penetrates obstacles, boasting extremely long effective range and exceedingly high stopping power and penetration. And that's going to come in both lethal and non-lethal variants. We're also going to be getting uh, another type of dark matter generator, one that stuns enemies, and also an energy wall that looks like a personal bubble that seems to deflect or nullify shots, sleep, and marking. So that seems like it's going to be quite a game changer for FOBs. So those are the details of what we have so far for the 1.17 update. A traditional FOB video will be coming tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. As always, any questions or comments, throw them down in the comment section. Please do throw me a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, have a good one.